The 2022 Kia Sportage is here, and I have driven it. Here's what you need to know. It is easy to mistake one family SUV for another. Practicality, safety, the shape of the average human economies of scale, physical limitations and other factors limit creativity. However, South Korean manufacturer Kia has given its brand a significant aesthetic kick up the tailgate. Hence why the 2022 Sportage is, dare I say it, appealing, sort of, maybe. Not that it matters anyway, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? What does matter is that if you are considering a 2022 Kia Sportage arriving in April 2022 in the UK, you should know the facts. So here are 10 or so of them to help you make a more informed decision. As you can see, the 2022 Kia Sportage benefits from enhanced exterior and interior looks, and that is not a bad thing when you consider how many people will have to look at it. 327,000 Sportages have sold since 1995. The interior is now more eye-catching and tech-savvy, thanks to a modern design, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capability, two 12.3-inch touchscreens, wireless smartphone charging, and rear USB ports for passengers if you go for a fancier spec. The exterior, meanwhile, uses the same design language seen on the all-electric Kia EV6, it is sportier, bolder, more interesting to look at, and manages to hide the fact it has actually got larger. Also new to the 2022 Kia Sportage is some hybrid loving. There is a mild hybrid MHEV that uses a 48 volt battery to improve fuel economy and reduce emissions. Above that in price is the HEV, which features a 1.49 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery underneath the rear passenger seats. It combines a 1.6 liter TGDI petrol, 44.2 kilowatt electric motor, and self-charging to give you all electric cruising where possible and brisk performance. More on that in a second. Unavailable to drive at the 2022 Kia Sportage launch event was the PHEV, which is the plug-in hybrid version. Tucked away between the front and rear axle is a 13.8 kilowatt hour battery pack, giving it the longest electric only range and lowest emissions, although Kia is yet to disclose either figure. Despite the ongoing demonization of fossil fuels, the 2022 Kia Sportage is also available as a plain old 1.6 litre diesel and petrol. Is it worth bothering with the new Sportage hybrids? Well, the biggest CO2 polluter is the MHEV with all-wheel drive and a 7-speed DCT automatic. That clocks in at 158 grams per kilometer and 50.4 miles per gallon. The least polluting will be the PHEV. Second place is the HEV with the six-speed auto and front-wheel drive. Fuel economy is said to be 49.6 miles per gallon in WLTP testing. The best fuel sippers, meanwhile, are the mild hybrid versions, with little difference between auto and manual options. Kia quotes 54 and 53 miles per gallon, respectively. The non-hybrid petrol and diesel are not exactly earth killers either. On a mix of roads with mixed accelerator heaviness, I found the MHEV and HEV averaged in the 40s. Not bad, although that ignores the difference in pace. What about the Sportage PHEV? Well, the 8.9 kilowatt hour battery in the Xseed has a quoted range of 30 miles, so you should go further than that with 13.8 kilowatt hours. No doubt this model will make the most sense long term, given the cheaper running costs, yet higher price to buy. However, like most full hybrids, you will need to keep it charged for best results. Lugging around uncharged batteries is, well, not a great idea. By combining a petrol and electric motor, the HEV hybrid has 226 brake horsepower, enough for a sports car not so long ago. Torque is 350 newton meters, which explains the 7.7 .7 second 0 to 60 miles per hour. It never feels rapid though, thanks to linear delivery and a plain engine sound. The PHEV is even more powerful at 261 brake horsepower, thanks to a bigger 66.9 kilowatt electric motor. No doubt it will be faster off the line. Not that anyone buys a Sportage to carve up B roads, but it is nice to know you can tackle junctions and roundabouts safely. 
Without any hybridization, the 2022 Kia Sportage manages 0 to 60 in 11 seconds. All models have a top speed well over the legal limit, in case you live near an unrestricted autobahn. As for gear changing, a 6-speed manual, 7-speed DCT automatic and 6-speed automatic are available, depending on the model. From numbers to more numbers, what about practicality? Well, that lovely interior will make you more upset when a loved one projectile vomits their McDonald's milkshake all over it. However, you do get ample legroom and headroom, even with the panorama sunroof above. I could sit behind my six-foot frame and all was well. Meanwhile, the boot, which is around 590 litres, depending on the model, is competitive in its class. Push down the milkshake ruined 40-20-40 split folding rear seats and that figure rises to almost 1,800 litres. Some cubbyhole space exists under the boot floor, while the two rear USB ports will keep passengers quiet even if their digital pacifier is out of battery. There is also the potential to tow up to 1,650kg of braked load. What about comfort then? Well, the suspension can be a bit bouncy over smaller undulations, but I found the ride palatable the rest of the time, less harsh than some rivals, while the front seats did the whole comfort and support thing convincingly. Unless you get a bit proddy with the accelerator, the 2022 Kia Sportage remains quiet and placid. Even wind and tyre noise was low at motorway speeds. And now we come to the trim levels, notepad ready. Even though the range starts at grade 2, for some reason, there are still 18 models comprised 8 powertrains and 5 model grades. Grade 2, GT Line, Grade 3, Grade 4 and GT Line S. Honestly, even the specification highlights section of the press pack is about 12 billion words long. So to summarise, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is standard on all grades, as are alloy wheels at least 17 inches in size, automatic headlights and wipers, LED headlamps and daytime running lights. At this level you forego the two 12.3 inch touchscreen displays, but then you do get an 8 inch touchscreen instead, and a less glamorous 4.2 inch display behind the sportier steering wheel. At GT Line, extras include larger alloy wheels, revised front lighting, privacy glass at the rear, and one of the 12.3 inch touchscreens. Grade 3 is where things get fruity, with improved upholstery and other interior materials jazzing things up. You also get a stop start button, adjustable front seats, smart cruise control, six speaker audio system and DAB radio to name the highlights. At grade four, you can let more sunlight in via a panorama roof and enjoy lots of gloss black styling. Plus wireless smartphone charging at 15 volts and a genuinely impressive Harman Kardon sound system. Safety systems include a 360 degree around view monitor and blind spot view monitor. Still here, GT Line S adds even fancier adjustable front seats, a smart powered tailgate, an optional black two-tone roof and other aesthetic enhancements to make it the coolest cat in the range. What about safety? Well, the most basic 2022 Kia Sportage comes with forward collision avoidance with junction turning, improved torsional rigidity and a competitive number of airbags. On higher models, the likes of Blind Spot Collision Avoidance Assist, BCA for short, warns you of something in your blind spot, and will even take steps to avoid a collision if your suboptimal decision making persists. While I personally find Lane Assist annoying, the 2022 Sportage's front collision system is less obtrusive than elsewhere, unless you drive aggressively that is. So what is the 2022 Kia Sportage like to drive? Pleasant, quiet, mostly smooth, and has more grip than you would ever need from a family SUV. It is a well-balanced car's drive with light steering and unnecessary body roll in corners. Perfect then for family cruising and beyond. It is, however, not especially exciting or memorable, even with the beefier horsepower outputs. The six-speed manual is also not the most pleasant to use, but then it is effective. Does it drive as well as its Germanic rivals? Well, there is a vibe, but it is delivered with a bit less finesse and waftiness. For long journeys though, the new Sportage will not let you down, which is more than can be said of that milkshake. And last of all, 
the monies. Prices start from £26,745 at the time of speaking, rising to just over £40,000 for an all-you-can-eat HEV hybrid with all-wheel drive, GT Line S spec and automatic gearing. From what I can see, the Hyundai Tucson sibling may prove a little cheaper, whether bought outright or on finance. But then the Sportage gets a 7-year, 100,000 mile, whichever arrives sooner, warranty. It is safe to say that the Sportage PHEV will cost the most, but Kia is keeping juicy details of that close to its chest. Spoil sports. And on that note, thank you for watching! Any questions about the 2022 Kia Sportage? I will do my best to answer them in the comments. Take care, bye.